this stage, Windows 10 had its end of life about two or so weeks ago. And to my surprise, at least according to web market share, which is what everybody shares around, this is the stat counter numbers. Windows 11 does have majority market share. And this isn't always guaranteed with Windows. If you go back to things like Windows 8, for example, well, 7 held on for a very long time. And I don't believe it was until 10 that anything actually took that position. And a similar trend can be seen on the Steam hardware server with even more people using Windows 11. This is probably due to the fact that there are games coming out that are like these big AAA shooters that do require you to be on the absolute latest version of Windows to actually function, so this number's probably going to skyrocket very, very quickly. Weirdly though, and I don't know why this is on the list, Suddenly, Windows 2022, which I believe is Windows Server 2022, but some people are saying it might be what the Windows LTSC is reporting as. So I don't know why this is here. This is not the main point of the video, though. And Zorin OS, having some sense of marketing, decided to time their new release with the Windows 10 EOL. This has led to a massive spike in downloads, with over 72% of these downloads coming from Windows. And Bazite over time has been massively growing as well. This has just been generally pacing upwards. It did spike a little bit here, but certainly nowhere near as much as Zorin had. But let's go back over to this graph, or what would have been a graph, but the numbers here. Windows 7, 9.15%. Let's look at this as a graph, though. The blue line is Windows 11. The purple line is Windows 10. Both of these were sensibly doing things until this point, and then the yellow line, which was stable at about 2.5-ish percent, generally trending downwards, all of a sudden, Windows 7 is at 9.15%. Now, I don't believe the Windows 7 market share suddenly spiked. I think there's some trickery going on here. You could certainly say that people are refusing to use Windows 11, so people are migrating back to Windows 7 instead of staying on what they were already on, which was Windows 10. You could say that. I don't know why you would say that. It's not the first idea that would come to mind. That doesn't stop outlets like Windows Central basically using that as a title. Windows 7 usage seemingly skyrockets as users refuse to upgrade to Windows 11 in wake of Windows 10 end of support. Now the article does go into explain that this is actually not what is happening, that is likely some other weird trickery with the metrics, but like... If you want to talk about a clickbait title, this is the definition of a clickbait title. We're going to say something that is just factually wrong and then explain what's actually happening. Firstly, we need to understand what is actually happening on StatCounter. What is it actually showing as these metrics? Because they don't have some magical insights, some magical numbers, some data sharing with OS developers and various other things they might collect metrics for. It is a web metrics website. It is a web analytics tool. So basically they have this tool that runs across a ton of different websites and they just keep track of who is visiting sites, what they're visiting from, where they might be accessing from, are they accessing it from Twitter or Facebook or Google, things like that, and put all this data together across thousands upon thousands of sites and then you get something that roughly approximates what web usage actually looks like. With it being web usage, you can very easily start to fool what the numbers are. And this is the way that every single privacy browser works. It doesn't say, I am LibreWolf, I am running on OpenBSD. It usually is going to say something like, I am Firefox on Windows, because the best way to hide is to hide in a crowd. You don't want to stand out. You want to look like every single other person that is accessing the website. So there is a possibility that a ton of people have just said, okay, I'm just going to say my browser looks like it's coming from Windows 7. And yes, 
you can do so. But do I think this is likely? I think it is slightly more likely than people suddenly deciding to go back to Windows 7, but I don't think most people even know how to do this and where they would even begin. So I don't think this is an explanation on what is actually going on. Now, as reported on by Windows Latest, which is not Windows Central and tends to do a far better job than Windows Central, this is not the first time that StatCounter has had some weird numbers. Back in 2024, there was this point where Google market share just dropped about 9% just randomly, which obviously didn't happen. Some people assumed, oh, maybe it's because of the rise of ChatGPT and these various other models and things like that. And sure, that would probably affect the overall market share of search engines, but I don't think Google would be uniquely affected by this. That just doesn't really make any sense to me. Now, I'd certainly love some competition in the search engine space. Google desperately needs it. And I know there's some paid options like Kagi and things like that. And of course, you could go and use Bing if you really want to. Do you want to trade Google for Microsoft? Is that really that much of an upgrade? Probably not. It's probably like around about the same tier. But what had actually happened here is there was some errors in collecting the data. So this was quietly changed and the line is now basically straight because there actually wasn't a reduction in the market share. It was just they collected the data wrong, they reported the data wrong, and this was entirely just a mistake. And it's possible that is what has happened with the Windows 7 market share as well. But this has been going on for a couple of months now, and there has not been a correction. So I don't think this is just a mistake in the reporting of the data, in the collecting of the data. I think there is something here. Just not what most people would assume when they see, oh, Windows 7 market share has gone up. This must mean people are using Windows 7. I don't think that is what has happened. And the theory from Windows Latest is there is a surge likely due to regression in OS detection by Chromium's user agent reduction. It could be the data mislabeling ambiguous Windows as Windows 7, or it's possible some new crawlers spoof Windows NT 6.1 or old IE slash Chrome tokens. I don't know of any report of this being a problem in Chromium, so I would doubt that being an issue. Maybe it could be, but until someone can actually link me to a report of that being the case or link me to a commit where this is being fixed, I don't buy this. However, some new crawlers that are pretending to be older versions of IE or Windows 7, that is a much much higher probability. And if it was actual people, where do you even find a Windows 7 ISO in 2025? How do you use it when most new games, drivers, and apps don't run properly on the decades-old operating system? I couldn't even manage to install Windows 10 on my Spectre because drivers are strictly locked to Windows 11. Now imagine trying to install Windows 7. You can absolutely do so. And there is this like weird little niche community of people that are installing Windows 7. But I don't believe for a second that it is 9.5% of the Windows market share. That just doesn't make any sense to me. But there is a very interesting theory I've heard. So this is the Windows market share for Singapore. Windows 10, 4.58%. Windows 11, 3.79%. Windows 7, 91%. 0.53%. And here it is as a graph. Notice the month it spikes up in. July. This also happened going from July to August. July to August. This doesn't show October, but this basically kept trending just a little bit further upwards. Do I believe that out of nowhere, Every single person in Singapore was like, hmm, I want to go back to Windows 7. No, 
No, I don't believe that. What I do believe, however, is either Singapore itself or some other country, whether it be China or somewhere else, is using Singapore as the location for doing a mass web crawl or a mass web scraper, probably related to AI in some way. And because it's been such a big deployment that is hitting so many websites so often, it basically took over the Singapore market share and made Windows 7 seem like an actual real thing that people are still using. I would question why you would be doing this as Windows 7. Maybe the answer is because a lot of sites give like a simpler, more text-based version if you're on an out-of-date browser that doesn't have modern features. That would be a legitimate explanation. My only issue with the Singapore answer is even if the majority of the Singapore market is Windows 7, there's only like 6 million people in Singapore. I don't see how that affects this graph this heavily unless they are just massively, massively hitting websites to a proportion that doesn't even make any sense. I don't think we're ever going to know exactly what has caused this weird rise in Windows 7. I don't believe it's users. I think the most likely explanation is some scraper and LLM stuff, but unless this happens to be an issue in the numbers, I don't think StatCount is ever going to say anything about it. And I don't think whoever is causing this is ever going to say anything either. I think this is going to be one of those things that just happens on the graph, and maybe at some point it just goes away. But for now, it's just this weird oddity where everyone's like, why the hell is Windows 7 randomly seeming actually popular? It does mean the numbers we are getting from this graph are now suddenly vastly less useful because you can't actually see what the real metrics are for Windows 11 and Windows 10. But maybe this goes away. I don't know. Maybe I'll check in with this in a couple of months and just see if it's still here. Now, just in case you're curious, other countries don't seem to have the same spike. This is just a Singapore thing. So, yeah. Let me know your theory down below. Do you think people are naturally going back to Windows 7? Do you actually think this is the case? Do you think the Singapore theory holds some level of weight? Or do you think there is something else going on, whether it be the numbers are just reported incorrectly, some regression in Chromium, some other issue that maybe people haven't thought about yet? I'd love to know. So if you liked the video, go like the video, go subscribe as well. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe to the Pay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and... 7... Eight nine.